There was a small handful of times during my intermittent fasting transformation when I was losing 100 pounds that I sort of gave up on fasting because I was having a lot of stomach issues. Okay, I was having all kinds of gastric distress and I've talked about it in other videos. I've always kind of suffered from IBS and things like that. Well, fasting tends to cause a little bit of gut distress in a lot of people because it breaks down the gut mucosal layer. But it turns out in the ever evolving world of science that there might be some ways to combat that during a fast. So we're going to talk about the use of creatine during a fast. No, it does not break a fast. It's actually effective for a fast and how it affects the gut. Do make sure you hit that red subscribe button and then please do hit the bell icon so you never ever miss a beat. And then please, after this video, I want you to check out Thrive Market. They are an online membership-based grocery store. They are so awesome because a lot of times you can get better prices through Thrive than you can at the grocery store and it gets delivered right to your doorstep. They've been a big supporter of this channel for a very long time and that's why they extend all the savings out to people that watch my videos. So please do check them out down below in the description. So first of all, what is creatine? We already covered kind of what happens during a fast to your gut, but creatine is, there's this misconception that it's only for like strength athletes, that it's gonna help you build muscle. But creatine is more of a cellular energy system, not just related to muscle, that's just its most common use. So what I wanna do is I wanna reference a study published in the journal PNAS that looked at mice. And I know what you're thinking, oh, forget this guy, he's talking about mice, I'm a human. Well, we learn a lot from mice, so hear me out. Okay, they looked at mice and they found that, okay, some of these mice cannot synthesize creatine. So the mice that couldn't synthesize creatine, they found, would end up with huge gut mucosal uh, layer distress. Like they would break down their gut mucosal layer and it wouldn't build back. They would end up with colitis. They would end up with colon issues. I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on? We realized that creatine plays a big role in sort of the recreation of intestinal cells. Now, we create creatine or synthesize creatine, I should say, naturally within our bodies. But if we're deficient in it, or we don't produce enough, or we don't synthesize enough, then it causes all kinds of issues like it did in these mice. You see, what happens is low creatine creates what is called an ATP gap. For intestinal cells to replenish, it takes energy. And if you can't create energy from creatine, then how do you replenish intestinal cells? So if you're on a fast and you're breaking down gut cells and the mucosal layer, but you don't have enough creatine to resynthesize to actually replenish, what do you think is going to happen? You're going to have a hard time rebuilding. So then when you do go and you do eat food, you're going to have gut distress. You're going to get diarrhea. You're going to get constipated. You're going to all of the above, right? So they found in this study that when they supplemented with creatine within these mice, their colitis symptoms went away. They ended up not having colitis. Now, I'm not saying that creatine is going to, you know, diagnose, treat, cure, whatever. None of that. I'm not a doctor. I'm some guy on the internet. But this study implies that creatine plays such a big role in that gut just replenishment, that could be a great tool for fasting. Now, scientists aren't necessarily applying it, but I am because that's what I do. I plug and play puzzle pieces to get the optimal result for myself and for you as the viewer. Then what happens after that is if the gut becomes stressed out for any reason, okay, because it uh, has inflammation from stress because of stress that gets increased during a fast, well, that inflammation is going to demand more metabolism. Okay, the more that the gut is under stress, the more energy it needs because the immune system becomes active there and that demands energy from an anaerobic source. So then you have less energy available for good things. So creatine comes in and it acts as sort of a buffer. And I want you to envision this, okay? Your gut is sort of breaking down, doing its thing while you're fasting. Well, imagine that you have a separate satchel of energy that is only for your gut's use. It's not going to affect your fast. It's not going to break your fast. It's not going to kick you out of a fast. It's not going to do any of that. All it's going to do is provide your cells in the gut with enough energy to properly replenish as they go through the autophagic flux, as they go through that natural process they go through during a fast. Well, then the question becomes well, how much creatine and what kind of things can I expect? Okay, well, the issue that's going to happen with creatine is you're going to retain water from creatine. And that throws off people that are trying to lose weight. The good news is it's intracellular water. So it's not like bad water weight, it's inside the muscle. It actually yields a lot of benefit during a fast, but that's a story for another day. Okay, you don't need much. 
If you are training at a high intensity, you are probably burning through a lot of your creatine stores, at which point I would probably recommend between three and five grams of creatine so that you have your muscle stores of creatine as well as enough for your gut to potentially help out with this. If you're not someone that exercises a whole lot but you're experiencing some gut distress during a fast, a simple one to two gram dose might be sufficient for you as that's all you really need to help support the gut, at least as far as some of the studies are showing right now. If you're not having gut issues and you feel perfectly strong on a fast, you could certainly play around with creatine and see if it helps you out a little bit more, but it's probably not necessary. Is it something that I used at the time? No, I didn't. That was my point. I gave up a bunch of times and then went back to it because I had gut issues. But now I implement it now and then because I feel like it helps me out and it makes it so I don't run into those issues. I want to share my pain with you so that you can overcome it and don't have the same roadblocks that I had. Anyhow, as always, please keep it locked into my channel. I'll see you tomorrow.